Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here doing a mail day today. Today is Friday uh, the 13th of all days of September. A little scary, of course, if you believe in any of that stuff, which of course I don't. Uh, Friday the, the 13th of September. Uh, Luke isn't here to do the uh, video today. Uh, he's been incredibly busy with school. And uh, on top of that, playing football and soccer. He's the kicker for the football team. Uh, he has another game tonight. So we're looking forward to seeing that, but we're I'm just going to do the mail day here. Got a bunch of packages, as you can see, some from eBay, some from Break, some from, uh, or at least one from a fellow YouTuber. So let's take a look at what we got here. This first package is an Eloy Jimenez Chrome. Eloy Jimenez kind of uh, underperformed, I think, according to some people this year as a rookie, but Definitely has a lot of potential. Has not played poorly, uh, but just probably not um, as well as people had hoped. Uh, he, I think, had a couple injuries he was dealing with as well. But definitely this guy uh, has the hype and the potential to be something special. A lot of these rookies, remember, in their first year, think of Trout, think of other guys, um, you know, uh, even like people like Mookie Betts and, and the like, uh, their first year wasn't their best. Even their second year wasn't their best. They're, they're not all going to be Acunas and Sotos. Um, so uh, keep that in mind when you're looking at some of these rookies. Uh, that uh, card was, I think, under 5 bucks shipped. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, next up, uh, got a break that we were in uh, with Cardsmith Breaks. Cardsmith Breaks, check them out. Uh, they... Uh, have some great deals. You have to sign up to be a part of their breaking uh, community. You have to actually fill out a little application. So a little different than a lot of other breaking sites, but they do that for good reasons. Uh, keep the troublemakers out and uh, the true collectors in. So we bought into a uh, random, uh, let's see, draft, I guess, of uh, Chrome. And I think it was a jumbo, I think it was a hobby case, actually. It was a hobby case. And we ended up with our PC team, the Red Sox. So here's a few of the cards we got. Didn't get any major hits, but we did get one nice card, a Mookie Betts there. Uh, Xander Bogarts. You'll see a lot of Xander Bogarts in this video, just a warning. Um, Mookie Betts and a Xander Bogarts prism. So... No hits there, but then we did get this nice card. The Gold Wave of Xander Bogarts. has a little bit of dust on it. This is going to be number to 50. Xander Bogarts is having a great year. He just um, tied uh, Alex Rodriguez as the only other shortstop uh, to in the American League, at least, to hit uh, 50 doubles and 30 home runs in a season. Uh, Bogart's average is, I think, 303 as of today. So, uh, pretty uh, good guy to look out for. His cards are still pretty affordable overall. Um, and so, definitely a guy to check out. Uh, you'll see, like I said, some other Xander Bogarts. And I think here's one right here. Bought this off of eBay. The guy threw in a Warren Spawn, numbered to 99. So, that was nice of him. And then we have the Xander Bogarts uh, relic. So this is a game used uh, relic. So it uh, has the stamp on it. You can go and uh, see which game this was uh, used in, uh, which that's a kind of a cool idea from Tops. So this says uh, here just gives you uh, a code that you can punch in. Um, and so it says on the back, you received a certified stamp of approval, a relic card from uh, Tops a tribute. And then it says, uh, this uh, pledges to bring you closer to the game and the past, the future and present. So uh, this is an authentic game used piece of memorabilia. So that is pretty cool. Next up, we have uh, one from a fellow YouTuber, uh, somebody we've got to know over the past few years. Uh, and definitely a great channel. If you have not checked him out yet, check out Maiko. Maiko says, you guys are awesome. Well, Mike, I would say your channel is awesome. You uh, have been doing this a lot longer than we have. I uh, have a lot more expertise in collecting. And definitely check out his channel if you haven't yet. We've worked out a trade with Mike. Uh, he was kind enough to uh, trade with us some 
something for his PC and then something for R. So Jerry Remy, uh, he's a broadcaster for the Red Sox. Jerry Remy's had a battle with cancer the last couple years. Back in the broadcasting booth, a former player uh, and uh, a fun guy to listen to. Uh, Luke and I enjoy watching uh, the games that he broadcasts for the Red Sox. Um, we are able to uh, listen to a lot of Red Sox games or watch a lot of Red Sox games uh, via the MLB app. And we have the, the season pass. So being in Michigan, not easy to watch many Red Sox games, considering that they don't play a lot of national televised games anymore on TV like they used to in the old days. Well, that was fun. So thanks, Maiko. Uh, check out his channel once again, Maiko. I'll try to put a link down in the video below. But Jerry Remy, this is an on-card autograph. This is the fan favorite from this year's uh, archives. Next up, we have a PSA card that I bought off of uh, eBay. This is another Eloy Jimenez, and it has a business card in here. So let's take that out. Here's the Eloy Jimenez. Gem Mint 10. Gem Mint 10, Eloy Jimenez. Um, this is his rookie card uh, from Topps. Uh, series two. Uh, and so uh, this was a, I think, a $25 shipped card. Um, now, you may say, well, you know, he's not having that great a year. Is it worth investing in him? I think for the price it costs to, uh, to actually, you know, uh, slab one of these cards for, you know, what is it, 15 bucks roughly, um, and then have it shipped for 25 I just thought that's eh, a no-brainer. If he doesn't pan out, it's not a big investment. If he does pan out, it could be a 50, 60, 70, multiple hundred dollar card if he turns into a Hall of Famer. Uh, who knows? Uh, but a nice card and a rookie with a lot of potential. Next up, we have another rookie that has a lot of potential and, of course, a lot of hype, uh, Juan Soto. That's a little piece of tape on the, on the card. And once again, look how Mike shipped his with painter's tape and in a team bag this guy i think did not ship it in a team bag just with a piece of regular old scotch tape on it uh i bought this off of ebay when they had an ebay bucks deal not a bad um looking card i'm not sure i'll grade it but uh it, i think it was around 15 dollars plus shipping um, now, if you go and look right now, series two of 2018 tops, or st sorry, update 2018 tops update is gone through the roof. Uh, so I thought for 15 to 16 dollars to get a raw soto, definitely worth it because buying a pack of the cards, uh, you would spend just as much and not get or have a chance of not even pulling one. So Next up, another Juan Soto, this time a graded Juan Soto. Bought these two together in a lot. Uh, so a Gem Mint 10 of 2018 Tops Heritage Update, or high number, excuse me. Uh, so this is the high number, so card number 502. <clears throat> card number 502, Gem Mint 10. Juan Soto is having another incredible year. Uh, Acuna and Soto both are. Uh, the stats on Soto and his war are really uh, good and compared to a lot of Hall of Famers, which uh, that bodes well for him if he continues that pace. Um, I think he just hit another home run last night. So uh, he's playing really well. Batting average is, I think, hovering right around 300, uh, over 30 home runs, uh, and just a really good um, young uh, guy. I think he's... 20 or 21, 20, 21, something like that. Uh, so super young uh, and excellent ball player for the Nationals. Next up, another Juan Soto, Gem Mint 10, uh, 2018 update. Uh, this one went uh, with this other one from high number in a lot. Uh, it wasn't cheap, but wasn't ridiculously expensive. You can buy Soto's Gem Mint 10s for cheaper than Acuna's, uh, and I have a feeling they're only going to go up from here. Um, he's, uh, once again, played really well. Uh, the card uh, is, I like this, I really like the look of this card, the, his batting stance here. I just think it's a classic look. Not so much of a fan of the Heritage High number, although I'm not a uh, uh, you know, that disappointed in either. Uh, but the look of this car, I think, is just awesome. I love the the uniform, uh, the, the batting stance, and he just looks like he's, you know, ready to uh, hit another home run there. So, anyways, a fun, a uh, couple fun rookie cards to add to the collection. Two Gem at 10s of Soto. Uh, and I did have, I thought, one more 
and I do, I have it over here. One more Soto that I was able to get raw off of eBay. So we were able to pick this one up, another Soto. Um, once again, unfortunately, they taped it with scotch tape on the top. Wrecks the top loader. The card doesn't look to be damaged at all. Um, I think this one was packaged a little bit better. All right, so let's open up these couple packs that came in with Cardsmith breaks. If you don't get a hit with them, they give you a few packs to open up, hitless packs. So nothing uh, too crazy, but uh, these are hobbies. So let's see what we can pull out of here. Uh, see if there's anything that we get. You never know. One pack could have something special in it. So there's a Mookie Betts. That's a good one. Uh, Eddie Rosario. Piscotti and Gonzalez. Well, the season is winding down for baseball. Uh, definitely been an interesting season and should be interesting playoffs. Too bad people like Trout Otani now is gone out um, with a... a Surgery, I think he's having on his knee. Uh, Trout has uh, been battling some injuries. There's a uh, Aaron Judge, league leaders, um, and then of course Yelich, the the big news this week, uh, the MVP candidate, who still has a chance to win it. Uh, but it's too bad to see some of these superstars go out of uh, the league for the rest of the season. Well, that nothing out of those packs there's anything too great this guy by the way is having a great year um rendon so i also got in the mail two of these hanger boxes from series two so we'll open those up while we're at it might as well open up a couple things you guys know we like to open up some cards on our channel now series two of this year is a great set and the prices are going up i believe the boxes are around 75 dollars now for a hobby box 150 for a jumbo box um, and i think they're only going to go up if uh, alonzo continues to hit home runs and uh, people like tatis and vlad and others uh you know make improvements and strides next year uh, of course tatis being out for the year We'll see what we can pull out of here. So definitely a set I think you want to grab while you can. And the retail is actually quite good. Highly recommend picking up retail if you can find it and even stash some away. Now, it may not be uh, something that you know goes crazy. But if you look in the past, um, a lot of the stuff, uh, like 2018 update uh, with these rookies in it, is uh, very hard to get at a reasonable price nowadays there we go there's a tatis jr these cards don't sell for a lot right now but it's probably a five dollar card you get half of your money back out of your hanger box in one card uh, if you're going to sell it and then of course if you grade it and it grades well it will sell for even more now you have a chance to hit a gold or a foil of one of the top rookies out of here or a parallel um, and then you're talking some big bucks that's a cool card i didn't know pablo sandoval could jump so high all right, uh, John Hicks gold, not the gold we're looking for. Um, these franchise feats cards and uh, 150th Mejia. Now, these cards go for a lot of money, too, of like Tatis and Alonzo. Uh, so keep your eye out for those if you're opening uh, some series, too. I, I was shocked to see some of the prices on eBay of some of these rookies um, that <clears throat> have sold so well with just some of these parallels. So uh, definitely I recommend picking up retail of this much more affordable than hobby and with the same not the same odds but a chance to hit some of the same cards you can pull in a hobby or a jumbo box um, and at a lot cheaper of, of a price and hanger boxes are a good value the blaster boxes are decent but not i think hanger boxes are the way to go in, in my opinion last year we did really well with hangers off of update um, we hit some uh, big cards out of there. Uh, Juan Soto, uh, red, white, and blue Independence Day card. We hit some colored um, uh, Otanis, uh, some colored Acunas, uh, all out of retail. So retail was really good um, and definitely a great value. Hopefully this year we can get our hands on some retail of uh, 2019 update. So here's the next pack 
Let's see if there's anything in this one. We did get that nice Tatis out of the first one. Let's see if we can get anything out of the second one. So thanks uh, for watching this mail day and little break. We will be breaking uh, 2019 Bowman Chrome next week as long as the order comes in. We're hoping to get quite a few boxes of it at a halfway decent price. Not a great price. I mean, not a super basement bargain price, but definitely a, a good price. Thanks to some of the hobby stores that we know. And we'll show you where when we get that. All right, so we have a Jacoby Ellsbury. Not the gold I was hoping for, but you can see you get, uh, that's two packs, two golds. And then we have, oh, that's a nice one, 150th. Uh, Otani and Trout. Once again, Otani is out. Uh, Trout, uh, I think, was supposed to have some kind of surgery. I don't know if he did. Uh, but uh, too bad that Otani is out. Let's see if we can pull another good uh, rookie out of here. Maybe a uh, Pete Alonzo. Pulled one of his out of one of these boxes, and it was right uh, in the back of the pack. So see if we can get uh, Alonzo out of here. That would be nice. Usually if you get the Vlad, those are hard to hit, and they're usually in the middle. They put the Vlads in the middle of uh, the pack. Um, so let's see. Matt Barnes, Sabathia, Shoemaker, Braun, Voigt, Castro, Wood, Fulton Witt, Stanton, Iglesia, and Freddie Peralta. So no big rookies in there. First uh, box was a little bit better, but still a fun break. Uh, to do for you know those were 10 bucks each but we bought them on ebay they were a little less so they were i think about it was 17 bucks shipped for both of them so that was a good deal plus you got uh eight or ten percent ebay bucks back i can't remember which one we got but we're going to be breaking this on our channel we have obsidian basketball coming up and we also have some 2019 20 uh, panini contenders draft picks blasters boxes that are supposed to come in tomorrow so stay tuned for those breaks on our channel as well as bowman chrome next week and we also have a surprise coming in from tops so stay tuned for that all right well thanks for watching guys look at all these cards i made a mess luke would be disappointed um but thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed this mail day and please like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next video